Well... I guess we're doing it. It's... 12 p.m. And, uh, no, it's 12 a.m. My watch died, so, uh... Of all the things that to happen on top of one another, my watch dies. I'm gonna need to replace that. Look at that. We're gonna have to remove this and clean up the rest of the computer. All right. I guess what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, air blast all of these first, and then we're gonna remove the fan. I think that's the plug for the fan. So yeah, hold on. Two things I wasn't expecting. The uh, these buckets leaked water. I almost slipped. On top of that, you see that? That's oil. The oil that was leaking yesterday, it started to pool. I almost slipped taking the uh, pump out. Holy crap, that was dangerous. See that? See that reflection? That was oil. Okay, it's 3 a.m. We're gonna air blast the PC. Are we gonna do that? Turn on the compressor. Let the pressure build for a bit. And then we're gonna spray it with this. Can you see the dust going up? Yeah, me neither. Bunch of dust out here. You can see the dust going up, right? Well, I can clearly see it from here. All right, let me move the vantage a bit. There we go. Lots of dust coming out. I don't think you can see it, but it's there. All right, I'm spraying, I'm blasting the fan right now. It's spinning. Okay, so at least I know that this seems to be working at least for that bit. Still seeing dust. Blasting my graphics card. I can't see anything, but I hope it's okay to do this. Ooh, that's coming out of this part. There we go. Spraying the lower part. It's starting to sweat. I don't know why. Maybe it's because the air is so dry tonight. I'm a bit Hence, because I almost fell just now. Right. Like we're almost out of dust here. Okay, I think we're almost done. Nothing's coming out anymore. You can see a bit of particles, but that's it. Let me let the air to build pressure a bit. I 
Okay, that's the pressure. Bring the CCU fan. I think that's all the dust there is. Oops, there's more. Coming out of the VGA, coming out of the for graphics cart. There we go. There's still more here. Spraying it, spraying it. I wanted to bring more life over here, but it's dangerous to go in and out because of the slippery floor. I don't want to do that yet. I gotta warn someone in the morning to get that floor cleaned up. Oh no! My sweat! I think it went in the graphics card. Oops, okay. Spray it, see if it goes away. That's right, I'm spraying my face throughout all the sweat. Oh, there's dust down there coming out. Pump some more. On this side. On that side. All right. I can still see dust coming out. I think we're good for now. I hope that's enough air to clear out the sweat that I just dropped there. I don't want my graphics card to rust just because I'm trying to clean it up. Just test it to my hand, and I think if I spray it on like this for like a minute or so, the dry air will clear out the water, but I'm afraid it's going to leave some residue because sweat is kind of salty, right? There's salt residue there. Just my graphic card's going to die because I'm an idiot and drop a sweat in there. Please not true. All right. I'm guessing we got all the dust from inside. Clear up the outside a bit. Ooh, more dust from down there. Wow, there's a lot of dust down here. This is the power supply. Lots of dust coming out of the power supply. Holy crap. I think this is why there's a problem with the power. The power supply has lots of dust in it. Well, come to think of it, the power supply is a lot older. Holy crap, you can see the dust out coming out of this thing. The power supply is a lot older than the PC. 
guaranteed. It's a, it's a good power supply. When I bought a new PC, I didn't replace the power supply. This new power supply from better PC, but it was still good. That's good as power supply if it's clogged with dust, right? How long has it been now? Nine minutes? Ten minutes of cleaning. Still dust coming out. You see that? Dust coming out of the power supply. I think that's all of it. I'm getting a little dust for more. Let's get the inside a bit of a good spray. Oh, you can see the dust from here. Inside a bit of a good spray and uh, And we'll replace the thermal compound. Oh no. Water just dripped down there. Do you see that? I think you saw it, right? Water from the tip of the nozzle. I didn't expect that. Okay, we're going to have to do a go around and see what's going on in there when we get this inside. All right, I think we're done here. Let me get this inside. Be right back. Okay, we're gonna need a screw head to unscrew CPU fan. Sweating, trying to get my head out of the way from the fan or the entire PC. So, Is it supposed to start like that? Oh. Okay. I'm still stuck. Okay, I think it's off. And we got a dry thermal compound. No wonder this thing keeps overheating. I'm just gonna unplug this and take the fan out and give it a good spray around. Hold on, I'll be right back. All right, I got a cotton swab here. I'm going to use it to clean out the CPU out of the uh, compound residue. That should clean it up nicely. Look at that. Good as nail. AMD Ryzen. You can see the text. Good as nail. How the heck did the thermal compound dry out like that? It always happens, you know. On every PC that I bought, <coughs> the thermal compound, I'm gonna clean this one. The one on 
the pan. Make sure it all rubs off. There's only a thin layer of thermal compound here, thermal paste or whatever you want to call it. It's always running hot. Keeps hitting 95 degrees. For whatever reason. Well, not whatever reason. It's only one reason. Thermal compound. Dried out. it up nicely. Alright, I got it down to the metal. Okay, I got the MX4. Not sure of its authenticity. I'll test it after this. For now, let's get it out of the box. I think inside we're going to find Spatula and compound. Okay. I'm gonna give a good I'm gonna give it a good dripping of the compound over here. People have come up with patterns on how to do this. I think that's a good dripping. And I'm gonna grab a seat with my spatula. Just gonna spread it around. Just compound paste, whatever. All right, Let's it to cover the whole thing. I think I got everything right. Do you think I miss a spot? I think this is going to be a special episode, just disassembling and reassembling, and then we'll do a daily vlog at the end of the day, because this is so early at the start of the day, on November 1st, which is kind of fitting, I suppose. Alright, I got some compound leftover on my spatula, so I'm going to put it On the thermal spread instead. Oh, this one's easier to spread in. 
Hey, maybe I should give it a bit more compound on this side. So what's your compound theory? Should we put compound on the CPU or on the thermal side? I'm guessing both sides should work because it's just thermal paste. I don't want to get any paste inside the fan because going to be a pain to clean up if that happens. But on the other hand, I want to make sure that I've got the whole cover, surface covered. Well, that's a good... PC master race poll, wouldn't it? To ask someone if you compound CPU or you thermal compound the fan, or do you do both? I think that layer is a bit too thin, don't you think? Should also fan. little compound. Yeah, it should definitely compound inward. From the edge in. That way you get the cover. Whole edge of the compound. Make sure all four sides are covered by the thermal Okay, I think that's all of it. I'm guessing that's good enough, right? Okay, let's put this back in. Okay. Now I remember the AMD side is on that side, right? It's supposed to go in like that. Just making sure. other side first always goes always go cross when you oh no droplet went in sweat droplet of sweat fell in there we go I see it got everything. Okay, I'm going to start with this one on the far side because I can see it clearly. Something's wrong. Okay, two bits of news while you were out. Um, the Sony camera ran out of battery, so I had to change to the Canon, and this is the Canon when we're shooting it. Secondly, I fell. Remember the wet floor? 
Yeah, that wasn't water. That was like silicon water. It's uh, super wet. And I fell on the floor. Well, I almost fell on the floor. Luckily, I caught myself just in time on the piano. So I guess I'm fine for now. There's a deal. I'm having trouble. connection where the screws are supposed to go in. I see the four holes, but I don't see where it drops into. Here, let me show you. That'll look better on a cannon. Anyway, see the four screws? Yeah. The screws are supposed to go in. I don't know where they are going into. Did I somehow unscrewed the seating that goes into these PC? Or Just take it out of faith and make sure they go in. You see that? Yeah, I'm using my camera. Look at the screw just so I don't get it. I don't have to put my head in front, or rather on top, of the computer. I'm not seeing it screwing in. Okay, I see what the problem is. There's supposed to be a plate that goes on the back and it fell off. Stupid plate. Okay, so you see those four screws? That was part of the plate. And uh, all I need is just to screw this onto that. Okay, so just gonna Tighten up the screws. still off. No, it's not off. It is not tightened yet. Why is it so loose? because I'm sweating.
Okay, that's Titan. It's these two that are the problem. Can you see it though? Can you see what's wrong? I gotta loosen this side first. the other side. There we go. Four of them are tightened. Now let me slip in the CPU fan plug, and then we're done. That's it. We, uh, we added thermal, or replaced the thermal compound, or whatever left of it. I hope that's enough compound. Okay, I powered it on. It still powers on, but I'm still hitting 90. That's a terrible thing, but at least it doesn't immediately uh, throttle down. So there is indeed something wrong with the computer, and I don't know what. But at least it's clean now, and it's not uh, throttling. At least not yet. Alright, I think that's it. See ya.